Gary Oldman reflects on what went wrong with his role in Harry Potter. Gary Oldman's portrayal of Sirius Black in Harry Potter has not shied away from critiquing his own performance, deeming it as mediocre in the context of his illustrious career. During his appearance on the latest episode of Josh Horowitz's Happy Sad Confused podcast, the 65-year-old actor expressed criticism for his performance in the Harry Potter series. Upon expressing to Horowitz, I think my work is mediocre in it. Oldman conveyed a belief that he could have approached the role in a differently manner. The Academy winner added, Maybe if I'd read the books like Alan, if I'd got ahead of the curve, if I'd known what's coming, I honestly think I would have played it differently. Oldman mentioned that he usually evaluates his previous acting work. The Leon star explained, It's like anything. If I sat and watched myself in something and said, I'm amazing, that would be a very sad day because you want to make the next thing better. For the unversed, the Darkest Hour star became part of the series when he took on the character of Sirius Black in the 2004 film Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. He later returned to portray the same role in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Additionally, he made a brief appearance in the concluding installment of the franchise, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. It is pertinent to mention that his method might have taken a different direction if he familiarized himself with J.K. Rowling's original books before taking on his role in the movies, as suggested by his former co-star, the late Alan Rickman. Earlier this month, the Oppenheimer star shared in an interview on Drew Barrymore's talk show that his personal life was positively influenced by the Harry Potter franchise and Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy. Oldman, whose Apple TV Plus series Slow Horses returned for a third season last month, mentioned that he traveled back and forth between the filming locations of the Dark Knight trilogy in London and his residence in LA a total of 27 times, all to spend quality time with his children. Stay tuned for the latest celebrity updates. Hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell for all the latest news. Don't forget to show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing your thoughts in the comments below.